guys and welcome to my first video today I'm gonna make a video for those who have Ultra 5.0 and want to import DXF files and don't have that option and want to use Fusion 360 to import DXF files and convert them into NPR files so let's start as you can see I have Bootlab 5.0 alright and, and I want to import a DXF file so I'm gonna click on file go down to where it says import see DXF is grayed out that means you know I don't have this in my Bootlab package alright so I have to pay extra money for it but I have Fusion 360 alright so um, I have a um, 2D drawing in AutoCAD, this countertop, right? And uh, I want to turn this, uh, I want to save this as, as a DXF file. So I'm going to select everything here and type DXF out, enter. I'm going to save it on the desktop. Save, yes. Let's go to Fusion 360, right? And we're going to insert that DXF file that I just saved on my desktop. Alright, so I'm going to go to where it says DXF, DXF, insert DXF, click on it, select plane, select DXF file. So you click on the folder, select that file, click on open. There it is. But I don't want this, right? I don't want this, I only want that. So I'm, I'm gonna uncheck layer two, click okay. There you go. All right, so uh, let, let's, uh, let's turn this into a 3D model. So I'm gonna extrude, select it. It's gonna be, uh, let's say 12 millimeters. Okay, and operation is going to be new component. Click OK. There you have it. All right. So uh, let's uh, let's apply tool paths to this. All right. Let's go to manufacturer. Click on new setup. Okay. Mine's already selected for me because. Does this, this is set up for me, right? For for the WikiHome Max CNC machines, uh, the origin is going to be the origin is going to be right here, this bottom corner. You see it? Right here, where it says stock point, stock point. I'll show you. See, see that? It's on top. Probably one at the bottom corner here. Try to select that. The Z, it's got to be pointing up. X, you know, this direction. Y, this direction. All right. Okay, next tab is going to be stock. Mine is already set up. Everything is zero. You can this is where you can add, you know, more material. All right. I'll show you what I mean. This this uh, add 50 millimeters, right? Sorry, 60. What's going on? 70. There you go. That's how you add more more material, right? But mine is going to be zero. It is a little slow today. Um, the post process tab. This is where you name the program. You can write a comment. I'll just leave it the way it is. Okay, so everything looks good here. So I'm gonna click OK. And then, um, all right. So I want I want to machine everything here, right? I'm gonna use the 2D pocket operation, which is right here. And go down to 2D pocket. First thing I'm going to do is select the tool, click on select. I'm going to use a 6 millimeter end mill. Okay, uh, use this right here. This amount of tool, this is like spectra. Select. Alright, so next tab is going to be geometry, this is where you select the uh, Everything is everything that's gonna be machined. So select the bottom bottom edge right here. See it? 
And make sure the arrow is pointing inside, not outside. See that? Make sure it. Uh, make sure you flip the arrow. Okay. There you go. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay. All right. Next tab is going to be height. All right. So we got the rig track height. We got everything. Mine's already set up to five millimeters. Everything here, the feet height. All right. Top height, I have it at zero. The bottom height. This is very important right here. Um, this is this is um, this is where you want to like you want to cut all the way through. In my case, I have minus two millimeters. All right. So um, it's gonna cut all the way through, right? It's gonna it's gonna it's gonna go down. It's gonna go down. It's gonna go down two millimeters. All right. Uh, next tab is passes. Mine's already set up. Maximum maximum step over six millimeters. Uh, multiple depths. I have mine at four millimeters. All right. Mine's already set up. Okay. Um, linking tab is just um, this is where you can ramp. You can you, you, you can change the rim type. Mine's uh, zigzag. You can have plunge, pre-drill, profile whatever you want to do here safe distance mine set up to five millimeters all right uh maximum stay down and have that um uh, you know three thousand millimeters which is three meters all right okay um all right so let's click okay it's gonna generate a tool path there you go all right so let's simulate this so we're gonna right click on it Go down to simulate. Let's play. If you want to see the toolpath, you can just check here. Where it says toolpath. See the toolpath. If you don't want to see it, just uncheck it. Take this, put it in front of you. See that? You can change. You can change the. You can change the visual type. Just go here, display settings. There you go. Visual style. You put wireframe. You play. Oh, I gotta close it first. There you go. See, that? there's the minus two millimeters right here. In the bottom of the, of the stock. See it? Let's simulate it one more time. Slow down a little bit. See that? It's cutting all the way through, right? Okay. See close. Right. Change the visual style back to shaded with visible edges only. Okay. There you go. All right. But I'm not cutting all the way through, right? Because I have a um, I program a um, pattern rail CNC machine, so I don't want to cut the vacuum pot. So I'm gonna leave two millimeters of material here, and then I'll use the hand rider to cut everything out. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go back to we're gonna we're gonna edit this. So right click here, it says edit. And we're gonna go to the heist tab. <clears throat> Alright, bottom height. I'm gonna change to I'm gonna change it to I'm I'm gonna leave one millimeter of material. Click OK. Okay. Let's simulate this. Right click, simulate. There you go. Go a little faster. See, left two millimeter. Well, I left one millimeter material. Okay, click. We're gonna close this. <clears throat> All right, and then uh, yeah, let's post this. Let's turn this into an NPR file. So I'm gonna right click here. Post process. Okay, name the program. Uh, let's name it countertop. 
coming here. I should leave it the way it is. Uh, I'm going to save. I have a folder here. It says Fusion 360 Woodwatch CNC programs. I'm going to save it to that folder. Or you can save it to the desktop. So, uh, alright. It's going to be saved there. Here's an NPR file. Okay, everything looks good here. Okay, so we're going to post it. And yeah, I want to go write it. Okay, let's open the file up and bring it to a um, boot up. Alright. Go to my folder. It's my folder right here. There's a countertop file. See it? Open it up. And there you go. There's a program. At the feed rate of 12 meters per minute, tool number one, because the machine doesn't have a tool changer, so it's always going to be tool number one. You see the speed right here 14,000 RPM. All right, um, you, let's say you want to change the, the feed rate, and uh, I'm sorry, in Fusion 360, let's go back to Fusion 360. All right, we're going to right select the, the operation, right click, edit. The first stop to the tool is where you have those uh, fees and speeds right here. This is where you can change that. Mine's already set up. The leading fee rate is uh, 3 meters per minute. Same as uh, the lead out is the same, 3 meters per minute. Alright. Okay. So that's how, that's how, that's how you do it. Alright. If you have any questions, you can leave the comments uh, down below. Alright. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep making more videos. Um, we're gonna be doing more programming for uh, using Fusion 360 for you for your wiki and home accessing machine. All right. Catch you next time. Thank you guys. Bye bye.